And I was 28 years old and, you know, I had resigned myself to the fact that I was dying. They have just three weeks ago found another bullet in my right arm. Congresswoman Jackie Speer survived in spite of being shot five times by followers of the Reverend Jim Jones. He led a religious cult called the People's Temple. Speer was an aide to Congressman Lee O'Brien. He was on a fact-finding mission to investigate complaints of sexual and physical abuse at the overseas compound in Guyana. He brought journalists to cover the story. And they came and shot um, the congressman. They shot uh, Don Harris, the NBC reporter, the cameraman, uh, the sound man. Greg Robinson, the examiner, photographer, uh, and me. She managed to drag her badly mangled body with one arm behind the plane's wheel well. She and the others were on that airstrip for nearly 22 hours. Survivors were finally moved into a tent, still waiting for medical attention, which came much, much later. All I had was uh, the, the goodness of you know, some of the reporters and um, the producer from NBC who came and brought me rum, Guyanese rum, and I took swigs of Guyanese rum to get through that night. The ambush killed Congressman Ryan and four others, including three journalists. Shortly after the attack, Jim Jones sent more than 900 of his followers at the Jonestown compound to their death. He ordered them to drink a cyanide-laced beverage. I walk around now with the scars and, and the baggage of that tragedy. What troubles me most as I look back at it is that we had a State Department that failed us. We had local law enforcement that failed us. We had local government that failed us because there were so many telltale signs of illegal activity. And that alone should have prompted scrutiny. Spear says Jonestown taught her that we have to be suspicious of groups that operate in secrecy while claiming the First Amendment right of freedom of religion. They need to be reported if they commit crimes. I'm a, a Roman Catholic and I look at the Catholic Church and how they allowed these priests who were pedophiles to just be recirculated into another parish when they had an obligation to go to law enforcement and didn't. Spear has become fearless after surviving her near-death experience. Had Jonestown not happened, I don't know that I ever would have run for public office. That's the, the real power of being in elective office is that you can, you can shine a spotlight on issues that deserve attention. You can bring people together to find solutions to problems. And it's really incredibly fulfilling. Cheryl Jennings, ABC 7 News.